Hello guys, is it again with another NEM, a uh, different format, gonna be sitting and, and talking stuff. So, today's video is about this, the Jigwold GK100, which is an upgrade model of uh, GK80 and GK10 and GK3, as far as I know. It comes with a very nice uh, usable a carrying case, it fits in a pocket, no problem, so you can uh, stick them in with a small player, dongle or something like that, so you have a portable cable solution, yeah. comes with uh, two sets of tips, wide bore and narrow bore, so depending uh, what someone prefers, you can choose uh, which ones, I prefer foams, which I sadly don't include it, but uh, that's not the som not something uh, it's too ex expensive to get, so it's like, you know, a couple of, let's say, two pounds or something, if you, if you like foams, I like foam tips with my ears, uh, also comes with a clip for your, for cable, and let's talk about the cable, it's a Hakugei silver plated cable, very nice, I think it's my uh, the best cable I've got out of all of this, I mean quality wise, doesn't tangle at all, so it's good, uh, the cable is modular, you can change your termination, it comes with uh, three and a half, four, uh, Two and a half and uh, 4.4 but if you order and ask the geek world you can have a dac on it like ex dac extension so you have a usb-c or a lightning port for apple so you don't need the, any dongles then which is a fantastic idea i hope more cables like this gonna be on the market because that's you know with, with the age of dying outputs from phones if it goes for uh, three and a half millimeters that's not that common anymore sadly but at least dongle uh, gives you enough juice usually to power uh, NEMs and talking about power these are easy to run I consider them easy to run to be honest at least uh, for my ears uh, I have my phone that I'm recording with it's got three and a half millimeter output. It's a Huawei uh, P40. Uh, it was able to power it to satisfying uh, sound quality. Maybe not the best, but uh, yeah, it will do. I've tried it on uh, a Venture Electronics dongle that I left at work. Uh, I always rec always recommend Venture Electronics dongles. Uh, that was just just. Fantastic, it's a fantastic dangle for NEMs. Uh, Cyber Drive, a bit more juice. Uh, also, sounds fantastic on that. Uh, went for a small walk and jog with the uh, X Duo uh, 2XS. This gives 250 milliwatts at 32 ohms, so I was listening at 14 out of 32. So that would let's say it's half half, power, half a power it was loud enough for me i mean on full power i would go deaf so there's the point of listening and obviously i was uh, listening uh, to it of my tube amp uh, hybrid amp the x duo 602 with upgraded tubes and that's when they truly sounds epic everything sounds epic on tubes if someone likes the tube sound the distortion and such so Oh, I recommend that uh, amp for a money, it's fantastic. But, but back to the EMs, uh, how do they sound? Well, I would consider the tuning as uh, fun and detailed. It's not the uh, like analytic or anything like that. That's you know where uh, you can. It, this guy, this guy's got nice bass. I love the bass on him. Uh, it's got enough rumble, you know, the shaky feeling in your ears because it's got talk about driver configuration it's got three dynamic drivers 
two balance armatures and four piezoelectrics, which uh, are uh, sorted with a five-way crossover. Uh, that's a high-end sort of a configuration uh, with the crossover like that. Uh, the base is nice, punchy, rambly, but not overwhelm uh, overwhelming. It's like perfect amount of bass with amount of other spectrum, like uh, mids and to top end, to be fun, like uh, on any sort of a music, and still give you that extra detail. Uh, it's my, it's the sound I was looking for for this many years. Because uh, I'm, I'm a cheap person, let's face it, and uh, usually I'm sticking to around 100 uh, bucks for an EM in ear monitors. But I uh, gave a shot to those for 200. I also got the i3 Pros for 200. That was my previous favorite NEM, but that uses planar for uh, high end. So I've uh, tried a bit of like typical trans, 40 BPM, uh, 140 BPM, very nice. Uh, side trans, 150 BPM, very, very nice. A uh, bit of drum and bass, uh, like pendulum and such. Sounds great. Then I moved uh, to something vocal like Madonna, uh, Nightwish, uh, Evanescence and uh, Theater of Tragedy. The female vocals are great, nicely, not shouty. These are not shouty. The treble is tuned so good. It's like uh, on that borderline, when it's not too much, not too little, just as much as I was looking for. So it gives me, uh, I can hear on those, the details I've not heard on my other gear. And I'm not even joking, like tried a couple of times. Yeah, they, they are more detailed than anything I've heard to date. So that's so that that should be a a bonus, I think. Uh, would I recommend those? Uh, for two hundred bucks, if you're looking for a, a high end sound like quality mm, and delivery, this is delivered that for two hundred, in my uh, in my opinion. Uh, they have a very nice fit. I had them in my ears for. Uh, seven hours last night, listening to various types of music, uh, gaming, bit of gaming on them. Uh, it's they, they are very nice uh, detail, I mean, imagine is very nice, I mean, stage, sound stage or whatever. It's, it's like wide. You can, I mean, it hears spacious sound, they spy, uh, sound spacious, that's I would say, like spacious sound, very nice for gaming, for FPS or anything like that. They are good for everything I tried. I don't think I found any music I didn't enjoy on them. Uh, tried some Bach, Chopin, great. What else I tried on them? Uh, modern talking, a uh, bit of metal, a bit of uh, this, bit of that. I've literally tried anything I've got on this PC like and everything sounded fantastic. Then I've uh, jumped to my i3 Pros and yeah, I'm definitely sure that these are more detailed in everywhere and I prefer them over my previous preferred any. Uh, also, you can uh, put them on portable adapters like I've got the KZ ones, tried it and uh, they do power them nicely so you can have a wireless solution like on Bluetooth for extra I think it's like 25 pounds or box bucks or like 20 on AliExpress. Great device. So yeah, they definitely get my recommendation. And I'm gonna put them in my ears and go for another walk because they sound great and I enjoy walking with them in me. Uh, they are so comfy I would uh, be able to sleep in them if someone uh, asks. Yeah, I could. you can sleep with them inside. So yeah, GK100 uh, gets my recommendation.